Hey guys, uh, this is a response video to the question I had about a little more information on how I put my backup camera in and wired it up in my 2022 Polaris Ranger. So this is my 2022 Ranger here. I just put that plow on it this year. This is the Fisher Trailblazer V plow. It's the same exact same plow as the Horn and Snow, Snow X, I think it is. Um, just different color. Um, I threw the wings on there. I just got done painting them and put them on. And then I added the light kit. I don't know if the light kit's really going to help much or not, but um, add that on there. It's quick to attach. I like it so far. We'll find out how it performs this winter. So I wanted to put a backup camera just because this thing is pretty long and it's hard to see backwards, especially in the winter. Uh, so this is my solution I came up with after looking at some backup cameras. This was actually cheaper than most backup cameras, and it's got other features. It has Apple CarPlay and Samsung Auto or whatever it's called i have i'm an apple user so you can use samsung or apple on it but it has apple carplay just like you'd see in a car which is actually pretty slick because i can use it for trail maps and everything else but then it has the backup camera so that was really the feature i was going for i'll add um links onto the exact stuff i used at the bottom of this uh but I'm not going to turn it on right now because if I do, it'll actually connect to my phone and stop my video. Um, I should have disconnected my Bluetooth before I started this. But uh, there's another, I have another video posted where I turn it on and stuff, and maybe I'll try it here shortly. But And then also I wanted to point out this little feature that I added. This button here is actually an accessory button. It's not, it's, while it does turn my stereo on, as it says, it's actually an accessory button. And I just, what I did is just wired it straight to the back of the bus bar under the hood um, so anything that's plugged into the bus bar turns on when i push that button so everything else will turn on without having the dash and the ecm and all that power up which is kind of cool so you can listen to music and stuff if you're stopped or have your lights on and stuff then i just did a little bit of switch work over here at the same time um, it was just kind of annoying me that all my switches were different in format and looks the only one that still is now is the winch button which I kind of like just because it's more of a tactile difference if I'm reaching for the winch button. But I think I might eventually change that too. But, but I guess the real reason is I forgot about that one when I ordered the rest of them. So to wire this up, two wires, power wire and camera wire. I just drilled a little small little hole in the back back there, ran it down under the dash. It drops all the way down and then it runs underneath that floor plate that in the middle hump. There's three quick pins, plastic pins there that hold that in place take that cover off underneath there is some like plastic wire hold downs that hold uh hold it all in place then i came back here same thing i think there's four on this side with clip pins pull that out that center piece comes out i run it underneath here it's all muddy down there and then i just drilled a hole and put a, a cork in this corner and it runs up through here. So this is the um, camera wire. It runs up, I have a wire loom that goes up this edge here, all the way to the top. And then I tucked it behind all that back there. There's my rear bus bar. Um, so this wire right here on the bus bar, uh, under the hood is the one that you just, you just tap into that. Now I didn't cut it off, I just tapped into it. So it will still work with the key as well, or the switch. Um, and then I put a rubber cork through there. Out of that wire, I have the wiring for this little winch on my headache rack, and then the wire for the camera, which is then right there. Now to control the camera, this is where it got a little tricky. To control the camera, Polaris actually has a factory power plug, and it's kept in that loop right there that you can unplug and then you plug it in. It's that one right there. You can buy that harness um, on Amazon. I think it was like 14 bucks. I'll also put a link to that. But it, the problem with that is that that's a negative triggered wire. Um, so when you put it in reverse, it triggers a negative signal. Um, but the camera, this particular camera, and many other ones on the market I found have a positive trigger wire. So you need to convert that negative signal into a positive signal. Anyways, finishing up, that wire just comes back through here. 
best way I found was just to drill a hole right in the very corner of this plastic piece, uh, mainly because if I ever decide to pull it out, it's super easy to, to patch that up and not actually have a hole. I mean, you could drill a hole anywhere in here you wanted to, but I just went right to that corner. And um, also it helps bleed water out and stuff. So that comes down. Let's see if I can see it down here. Uh, kind, of right, kind of back there, can you barely see it, but anyways, it comes out back there and then it also just feeds back in. The power set wire, which is actually this one right here, is the positive trigger for the camera. Now, we'll quick walk over to the garage here. I please do a little diagram. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can make this clear as mud. This is a standard wiring for a relay. If you were going to wire up the lights, say lights on the front of your uh, rig, you know, LED light bar. So this one here is going to go directly to the battery or to a fuse. This one here is going to go be the, the power side. That's a plus sign. <laughs> this one here is going to be the power coming from your switch. So you're going to do uh, probably a fuse, switch, and then coming down to number 86. So what that's going to do, when this is switched hot, it's going to connect with 85 and open this up, connecting these two across. So whatever's connected here and here is going to get connected. In this case, it's going to be the power that's going to be con come connected here, a plus, and it's going to go through to power your device. Okay? I'm sure I made that clear as mud. On Polaris's rear wiring, this is how it's wired up. When you put the vehicle in reverse, it sends a positive signal down to 86, connects to 85, and connects the two wires across. Unfortunately, the two wires across are ground, so you end up with a negative trigger. So, what we do in this case, then, is basically wire up a second relay just like this. So we're gonna take this negative trigger and connect it right there. So when you put this vehicle in reverse, it connects across 86 and 85, which then connects 87 to 30, which is a negative completing this circuit, okay? Now this one, we're just gonna eliminate this switch altogether. So this is just gonna have constant power going to this but it's not on yet because it's being triggered off of this side instead off of off the ground. So now once this connects to this, it'll then connect these two. Well, we are gonna have power here, connected to here, and then this would then go to the camera. Clear as mud, huh? Two relays so that we're just basically unfucking what Claris did with their negative trip ground. Now, I know in a lot of things, a lot of cases, things are negative uh, grounds, and that's I know that's why they designed it that way. Uh, but uh, in this case, we, uh, we need a positive, positive trigger. So, I'm saying it's a negative ground. Negative trigger, we need a positive trigger. So, hopefully that clears it up, uh, clear as mud, two relays together, and you can reverse the polarity of anything. The big thing is, no matter what you have, as long as you have a positive and negative here, whatever you have on this side, whether it's negative or positive, it's going to, it's going to uh, flip back. So, uh, the other option you could do. So my thumb just uh, hit the button on my camera by accident. The other thing you could potentially do is you could actually just make your own wiring harness from the from scratch. Um, Coming off the back of that machine, there should be a power, a, a, a constant power and a, ne and a switched negative. Um, you could just rewire it all yourself, just with one relay. Um, but for the price of that harness, it's coming with a clip and everything, and it's just uh, throw it. I mean, most of us have a relay laying around in a box somewhere. If not, they're like five bucks. Um, I would just do it this way, and then. Um, if you get, then also if you get a fifth, a wire with a uh, relay with that fifth wire, sometimes they'll have another wire in the middle here. 
That one's also just going to be whatever you have it wired to. So if you wanted to use it for a second accessory, you could. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it, guys. That's how I did it. It worked really good. Um, come back to the machine over here. Uh, I'm going to throw those links in the bottom for the description that I have. That's where I put my camera in case anyone's wondering. I know some people don't have a headache rack, but uh, mine came with a little mount and self sticky pads and a couple different ways to mount it. Uh, I like it right there, it's kind of out of the way. But yeah, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. I'll pull my camera out and help out whichever way I can. All right, otherwise, be safe out there, guys. and. Uh, I'm looking forward to some safe plowing this winter. Talk to you later. Bye.